This one, a matchup of champions, the defending champs, the Whitby Steelhawks, taking on the 2017 winners of it all, the Oshawa Outlaws. I'm Blake Rubin, partnered with JVI Productions. And the Outlaws off to a fast start. And a good save there by Luke Coot. Steelhawks starting goaltender in net for the Outlaws is Scott Comer. Officials for tonight's game, Kyle Cortman. Dave Howlett returns from today's earlier game. And Sam Weathers. Already a physical battle to start this one off. Outlaws get a shot off, just gets by the keeper. Seahawks use their physicality, that's how they won it all last year. Whitby on the attack, looking for something on the inside. Not too many injuries for tonight's game, although the Steelhawks will be without last year's leading scorer, Austin Murphy. He'll be out of this game with an upper body injury. That's a big shot to Whitby. They need that kind of scoring. Nine goals on the season last year for Murphy. 20 points overall, second in the league. Outlaws trying to find something inside, and they do. Dog board gets on the board. And less than two minutes in, the Outlaws find themselves up 1 0. Board's first goal of the season. This is Dylan Hutchinson with the ball. He fed it off there to Travis Sabalks. With that kind of flow, you can never mistake Sabalks or anyone else, and you cannot mistake a hit like that. Absolute hammer from Mark DeBrone. So dual cross checks create a five on five opportunity. Great save there from Comer. Mike Brown with the ball, he feeds it down low, but a great save from Comer. That was Cam Mancini who was the carrier. And the ball goes wild up into the air. It's gonna stay Outlaw's ball. Covered up by Coot. This is Adam Peroni. Hutchinson's going to start things off for the Steel Hawks. He's going to fake the shot instead, dump it left. Cycle mentality is the name of the game for this Steel Hawks offense right now. Looking to get into the slot, can't find the opening. Instead, Hutchinson with the shot. 
and Calmer doesn't even have to move an inch. Outlaws have a chance here. Big save from Coot. 126 left to go in the power play. 10.42 left to go in the opening quarter. Cody McMahon looking for an opening. Feeds it left. He's going to take the shot. Almost beats Calmer, but can't quite trickle by. That's Cole Spear looking for an opening. Gets the feed right back, looks for the shot. Tries a little bit of trickery, can't find the net. That's Brad Lyons who feeds it off to Ryan McCroy. Ryan McCory, sorry. Sorry, McCory, say that 10 times fast. Box is going to look to come out of this penalty box. Oh, mistook the flow. That's Gutch Salinas. Shot goes nowhere near Calmer. In fact, it didn't even hit his mask, it hit the mask of an outlaw's defender. That was Tyler Roch who came into contact with the wicked shot. And with five seconds left on the power play, the Steel Hawks gonna get one last chance here. And we're back to even strength. Outlaws losing Tyler Roch for a certain period of time after taking a shot to the mask. Big save there from Calmer. But the Steel Hawks get the ball back. Whitby continues to cycle. Currently in the hands of Cree Blakely. This is Gogboard who already has one goal in this game. We have another injured player. Not even on two minutes after the timeout. That's Mark Fanfing. Seems to be aiding his hand. Steel Hawks already have one player injured due to hand issues. Well, that's not going to slow Whitby down at all because here they come right back on the attack. Sabox looking for an opening, can't find it. Steelhawks head and Steelhawks coaching staff letting it known at the officials that they're not happy. Spearheaded by head coach Brad MacArthur. The head coach for the Outlaws is Steve McCarthy. looking for something maybe behind the net. They're trying to approach the slot. That's John St. John, number seven, who had the ball. Give the shot off, but the crossbar is there to help out Coot. St. John. Where shot couldn't find it. Possibly looking for another opening. Instead, feeds it right back. Get the shot off, saved by Coot. Oh, careful, we could have a toss-up right here. Instead, 
A brief altercation creates an opportunity for the outlaws. That was Curtis Conley of Oshawa getting into it a little bit. And St. John comes right back on with Conley. We saw the passing they could do just moments ago. Conley can't get it on net. And look at that, just before the buzzer. Cree Blakely gets the shot off and in. And that'll tie it up at one, a short-handed goal. Well, apologies, that was actually a power play goal. Hutchinson with the ball. Feeds it to Spear. This is Matt Kim. And was on the heavy attack. This is Dylan Goodard with the ball. St. John, blocked. Kim was there to make sure St. John's shot did not go anywhere near the goalie. This is Jeremy McWaters trying to take it all on himself. Big man Travis LeBox with the ball. Fed it off to Blakely. Blakely trying to find an opening, can't quite get it. Does the Ox still get a shot? Almost trickles into the net. Ryan McCrory trying to beat out the defender, gets the inside track, looks for the feed, and just gets it by. What a goal. McCrory had to do majority of the work on his own, then finds Luke LaJewish hanging down the side of the net. And Kim wins it clean. On oh, a costly mistake there by Dan Ball. Could end up in favor of the Outlaws, and it will. Bergsma looking for some help, gets it. This is Josh Gilray. And the pass goes wild. Could have set up a great opportunity for Oshawa. Four minutes left in the first quarter. Oshawa leads, this, leads Whitby 2-1. to one. And Coach MacArthur begging his teammates to give Luke Pilcher some help. Instead, Pilcher's going to take it himself. And there's the help. That's Cody McMahon. Feeds it to Blakely. Pilcher to McMahon. To Sibolks. Whips it. Finds its way to Comer, but can't get by him. Here comes Oshawa. Oshawa. 
as Brad Lyons along the boards. Shot and scores. Luke Pilcher ties it up. And a toss up for the ball on the face off. Oh, and right away, the Steelhawks just absolutely bombarding Jake Paul Jelly. But Whippy still comes up with it. Adam Pernani with the ball. Pelcher looking for a second goal already. And gets it all alone. Almost beats Calmer, but not quite. Bergson was going to wait it out. Feeds it to St. John. St. John waiting for some help. Piled up along the boards by Mike Byrne. And now we got a toss up along the corner for the ball. And a boarding call against the Steelhawks. It's going to keep the ball in their own zone. St. John with a chance. Almost gets a shot off, but instead big save there from Coop. Solanas hands it off to Blakely. Slabox. Blakely oh, was looking for Slabox, instead gets intercepted. Going back the other way. Good opportunity for the, I should say, for the Outlaws. Packed house tonight at the Children's Arena in Oshawa, Ontario for this battle of champions between Whitby and Oshawa in the Arena Lacrosse League. What a treat lacrosse fans are getting this matchup so early on into the season. Garrett Lewis looking for some help, and he finds Pilcher, who just whips it. Almost gets it by Calmer, but the com but keeper's there to block it. was looking for something there, couldn't really find much. Once again, a heavy rush by the Outlaws. St. John picks it up. And Solanus getting a little bit chippy with St. John's. Twenty seconds left in the first period. By how time flies. Outlaws looking for one last chance before the quarter ends. The shot scores. Dylan Goddard reclaims the Outlaws' lead with seven seconds to go in the first quarter. And that'll do it for the first quarter of this championship tilt. Or should I say tilt of champions. We're tied at two.
second quarter underway now in this battle of former champions. Steel Hawks in the young season on their quest of back-to-back -back championships. Taking on the Oshawa Outlaws who lead this contest three to two. And the shot just gets by Coat. Dodgeboard, his second of the game and his second of the season. Here comes the speed of Oshawa, number 11, Josh Togri. And some big saves there from Comer. Shot went wide there. And a little bit of chippy talk between both teams. Pilcher gets the shot off, won't go. Chance for Oshawa. Mancini with the ball. St. John, oh, what a pass from John St. John to Dylan Goddard. The behind the shoulder beauty. Another clean draw that goes into the favor of the Outlaws. Togri continues to be the rocket behind this defense. Oh, but a good chance here for the Steelhawks. Great save by, by Calmer. Heavy pressure being applied here. Tempo's really started to pick up this second quarter. As Garrett Eddy couldn't quite get the shot on net. Poacher applying pressure. That won't do much. Josh Gilray with the ball. Feeds it, gets it right back. Shot, no go. Here come the Steel Hawks. Cole Hamley takes the shot, can't get anywhere past Calmer. Blakely, test the box. He's gonna bully his way through and into the net. The spin and the laser from Travis Sabox. Steelhawks on the heavy attack. This is Hutchinson looking for some help. Finds it. Shot goes wild. And because of that, we're going to get a Steelhawks power play. Aaron Walker of the Outlaws is gonna go into the box. Perfect opportunity for the Steelhawks to make it a one point game. 
Hutchinson. Pilcher scores! Pilcher second of the game makes it a one goal difference. A power play that lasted all but oh, 14 seconds. Bearing down on a big collision from Kim to Paul Jelly. Pops the ball loose and the Steelhawks retake the possession. This is that aggression that they used so well last season on their way to a championship. And they could use that aggression to tie it up at five apiece with 10.22 left to go in the first half. McMahon found Blakely down low but couldn't beat Calmer. And just like that, Steelhawks go right back on the power play. Pilcher to Hutchinson. The shot can't find it. So it's going around. Hutchinson gets met in the middle. And Pilcher's going to keep it in play for the Steelhawks, though. Eddie with the shot won't go. So they probably want to get a bit more active. Already has three goals on the season, but here comes the Outlaws. Ball goes wide. Hutchinson. Can't beat Calmer. And somehow the generals, <laughs> my mistake, the outlaws keep the ball. We are in Oshawa after all. Gilray with the ball, Josh Gilray feeds it far side to Dylan Goddard. Goddard with the wraparound attempt. Oh, A for effort, F for goal, that being none. Just couldn't find a way to beat Coop. Hutchinson's pass almost got wild. It's picked up though by Jeff Fernandez, back to Hutchinson, to Pilcher. Wild shot. Fourteen seconds left on the power play. A physical confrontation in the corner. Pilcher comes out with it though. He's got a chance. So he's going to wait for the rest of his teammates to catch up. There's the shot. Nowhere near the net. And this is going to be a fast break for Mount DeBrone. He's going to get the shot off, but can't beat Coop. Little over seven, little over seven and a half minutes left to play in the first half. It's a one goal game, but that could change very quickly. Steelhawks keep the ball. This is Mike. Mike Byrne who had it there. Solid cross court field. Jeremy McWaters, who finds another man, gets the shot off, but can't get it by the keeper. McWaters. And shot off. Coots there again. Chance for a rebound. Coots able to swallow it up, though, and this will lead to a fast breakaway. 
Curtis Conley. And instead, we're going to get another penalty. And this one's on the Steelhawks. It's for the first time in what seems like an eternity. The Outlaws are going to catch a break. St. John. For an opening. Coots there to use the glove just before it trickles in. Hutchinson. Some good cycling here from the Steelhawks. Calmer did not even need to move to block that one. And uh, another penalty, this one, this time on the Outlaws. This is going to lead to some four-on-four -four action and some line confusion could lead to an easy goal for the Steelhawks. Instead, Commerce there to shut the door. Oshawa's turn. This is Bard taking it up. It's Ryan Nolan who feeds it off. Five and a half minutes left to go in the first half. It's a one goal game with four on four action currently underway. McMahon's gonna pick this one up. McMahon looking for a shot. Can't quite find the net. A oh, good pick up there by Blakely. Gets a shot off, blocked by Calmer. And miraculously, a full dump somehow gets into the gets into the stick of Gilray, who feeds it off. And Oshawa's on the heavy attack. Oh, a vicious hit there. Ella's fans demanding Salinas gets to the box, but no call from the ref. Instead, the Steelhawks are on the attack. As the shot goes wide. McMahon couldn't quite find the net. Peroni and McWaters starting to have words. On the other side, McWaters has the ball for Oshawa. Gets it off. The shot can't find the net. Oshawa looking for an opening. St. John. He's to Lajewicz, who scores. Luke Lajewicz. It's a game of first goals tonight at the Children's Arena in Oshawa.
With 3.30 left to go, it's a two goal game. The Steelhawks lead the Generals six to four. I should mistake, I should correct myself folks there. The Outlaws lead the Steelhawks six to four. Heavy pressure here from Oshawa. Steelhawks come back on the attack, looking for a shot, can't quite find the net. St. John gets it off, can't beat Coop. Hutchinson. Blink and you'll miss it, Cole Spear. Outlaws still lead 6-5 with 1.59 left to go in the first half. Ball's picked up by Brun. He's gonna try and take it himself and scores! Takes the goal and the net all. And in frustration, Calmer just lets the net go as the Steelhawks tie it up. Mike Byron said, I'll take on the entire out Outlaw squad if I have to. Well, Byron's first goal of the season could not have come at a better time for the Steel Hawks, who were down two goals just Less than two minutes ago. Whippy looking to take the lead. Shot can't quite find the net. Common theme in tonight's game, but when it does, they tend to be beauties. Pilcher in trouble, finds an escape. Blakely gets the shot off, won't go. This creates a two on one for Oshawa, scores! Aaron Walker, less than a minute left, reclaims the lead for the Outlaws. Seven, six, 53. The score and the amount of time left in the first half. The Hawks are going to tie it up before time ends. Can't find an opening. And another goal. Like I said, with this Outlaws team, blink and you'll miss them scoring. Some confusion from Whitby. That leads to Lajua's second of the game. <laughs> Steel Hawks. Need to get one last shot off Pilcher. And that'll do it for the end of the half. 
in the first half entirely. The Auto Outlaws, the Oshawa Outlaws, I should say, lead the Whippy Steelhawks 8 6. And welcome back to the Children's Arena for the second half, final half of our Arena Lacrosse League doubleheader between the Whitby Steelhawks and the Oshawa Outlaws. Outlaws currently lead eight to six. A thrilling first half, saw everything but a fight, but that might break out within the next two quarters given how physical this game has been. This is Creed Blakely with the ball for Whitby. Finds an inside track. And whistle's blown just before Blakely can get a shot off. St. John gets the shot off. Can't get past Coop. The wraparound attempt won't go. That was Peroni on the attempt. And here come back the Outlaws. Trying to get a shot off, can't get anything. But a collision in front of the net causes some opportunity. And Ryan McCrory is able to get the goal. Chaos in the crease leads to a conundrum which leads to McCrory's first of the game. Makes it 9-6 for the Outlaws. Selena with the ball. Feeds it to Spear. Blakely loses control. Regains possession. Finds the inside attack, but can't get it by Calmer. But another great save by Scott Calmer. Heavy rush from Lions. Not going to be Coot. I think he knew that he wasn't going to beat Coot's strong side. The great feed down low. Oh, leads to an easy chance, but can't quite convert. Whitby still with the ball, however. Here's Garrett Eddy. St. John. And chaos up front leads to a three on one for the, for the Steelhawks. Selena gets the feed. Or I should say feeds it, but no chance on the goal. Or on the shot, I should say. Absolute chaos to start the second half. Oh, we got some physicality brewing here. That very well could lead to a penalty, which it very well will. That's going to send Paxton LaRoe to the sin bin after jawing for a brief moment. With, if I'm not mistaken, Mark DeBrown, who's been pretty quiet this game, or at least the last two quarters.
And so the double minor four minute power play for the Outlaws starts. Everything is going their way this game so far. Are leading 9-6 with a little under 11 and a half minutes left to go in the third quarter and almost goal, but what a save by Coot. That leads to a good chance for the Steelhawks. Driving down, can't quite get full control. Peroni looking to beat out the last remaining Outlaws defender, but couldn't beat Comer. Here's Goddard, St. John's. Seems to just be the master of that behind the shoulder pass today. He gets a shot off, Coots with the save. He's gonna whip it down for Spear. Fed it to Conley who gives it to Blakely. Back to Spear. Wants the shot, deflects off the pad. Here come the Outlaws. Byrne gonna wait it out. My mistake, that was McCrory. Ryan McCrory to be exact. St. John. Some great passing here from the Outlaws. Go for the shot. No chance with Cromer at the door. And Peroni trying to do, some might say, a little bit too much by himself there. Physicality starting to pick up here from the Seahawks. They realize how dire of a situation they're in. Less than two minutes now in the power play, less than nine and a half minutes to go in the quarter. It may be a five on four power play. Certainly hasn't felt like it. The Steelhawks go on the attack. It's a three on two. Direct shot. Cromer there with the save. Here's Goddard with the feed, with the shot. No goal. Great save, Coot. Exactly one minute left to go in the power play. The Outlaws looking for another chance. Heavy pressure here from Whitby. St. John thought he was going to go for the shot. Another behind the shoulder pass. There's the shot and there's Coot to save it. Rebound but it goes wide. Coach MacArthur screaming to just try and kill the penalty, not play anything too risky. Oh, but just when the penalty was about to be killed. Peroni once again trying to do a little too much. Just cost his team nearly 17 seconds away from killing. A four minute power play. And well, they're not back to square one, but they're almost halfway there. Now a five on three for a little under 10 seconds. Also looking for a chance, St. John, can't find it. Lazovic couldn't find it. There's St. John with the shot. Another save by Coot, the MVP of this penalty kill. 
So the Steelhawks kill off the four man penalty, the four minute penalty, but they still have a minute 18 left to go in their newest one. But just like that, St. John with a rocket makes it 10 to 6. A clean win there from Kim. Do not expect the intensity to let up at all in the second half of this game. Almost a great spin move there, but oh! We're gonna have some physicality even more. DeBrome was just piled on top of Conley there for a solid 10 seconds. And for that, he's gonna go to the penalty box. And the Steelhawks, who killed one penalty, failed on another, are gonna get the power, a power play of their own. But B can't get it past Comer, who has been a brick wall this half. Gilray. Finds McCrory. McCrory, we're gonna take it on his own. Gives it back to Gilray. And it bounces off the top rafters. Rarely will you see the outlaws just give up a possession like that on purpose. Botched attempt from the Steelhawks has the ball going the other way. Togri looking for some help. He's usually the speed demon of this team, but he is pinned along the boards, or at least in the corner. Still gets it off. Some rough stuff now from the Steelhawks. Lazarevich just couldn't find an opening. Fifteen seconds left to go in the power play. Five minutes left to go in the third quarter. Oshawa leads Whitby 10 to six. And now creates a two on one. The shot saved by Coots. Steelhawks on the heavy attack, but can't quite convert. Get the ball back, though. Sub box. Spear with the shot, but another save by Comer. This leads to a one-on-one -on -one scenario. He's going to wait for the two-on-one, though. Great feed. Good shot, but a great save again by Coot. Luke Coot and Scott Comer have undoubtedly been the MVPs for both their teams tonight, despite the score. And a block shot there from Selena. Well, his shot was blocked. Oh, 
St. John back on the floor for Oshawa. Steelhawks having trouble defending on the inside. Oshawa taking complete advantage. St. John. Finds the inside, can't beat Coop. Pilcher, haven't heard his name too much this half. Looking to get a shot off, scores! Luke Pilcher with the hat trick. Makes it a three goal game. With 2.16 left to go in the third quarter. And a collision along the boards right in front of us. This has just become an absolute train wreck for the ball. And they're calling it in favor of the Outlaws. Lions is going to get the ball. Deeks out one defenseman, but he's met along the boards by Kim. He's going to look to go in it alone. Direct rush from the inside, scores! Luke Lajovic finds the defender sleeping and finally gets by Coots. And with 137 left to go in the third quarter, that makes it 11-7 in favor of the Outlaws. And so we're like we're right back to where we started. An absolute dog pile along the boards for the ball deep into the Steelhawk zone. Ends up in favor of Oshawa. And the ref seemed to have some discomfort there from DeBrone. So he's gonna go to the box. But he's not going to be the only one. It's going to be a four on four. St. John finds an opening and scores. St. John's, find, find, John's finds Lajovic. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I believe I am. And I believe that is a four-goal night for Luke Lajovic. Oshawa right back on the attack. They're up 12-7 with less than, less than 30 seconds to go. Just a little over 30 seconds actually in the third quarter and it's been all outlaws this second half. Blakely finds the inside, can't get the shot on net. Blakely again after the feed from McMahon. Finds a man on the side, gets the shot off the post. 
nothing is going right for the Steelhawks. Oh, no, that could lead to a penalty to start the second quarter, the fourth quarter, excuse me. Cody McMahon absolutely stapling a player along the boards after the buzzer, clean after the buzzer. But after three quarters of play, the Outlaws have busted this one wide open, 12-7. And Jelly and Kim will take the draw as we get this fourth and final quarter underway. Start the second week of the Arena Lacrosse League, see of the Arena Lacrosse League, the third season. And you're watching the past two champions go at it right now. The defending champion, the Whippy Steel Hawks, trailing 12-7 to the inaugural champion, the Oshawa Outlaws. And the Steelhawks looking to start off hot after a third quarter where nothing could go their way. And they do just that. Garrett Eddy, who's been quiet all night, but leading this team in goals, gets his fourth of the season and first of the game. And that'll make it 12-8. After just 40 seconds of play in the fourth quarter. Whippy gets another shot off. This one, not a chance getting by Calmer. The generals come out uh, fast on the attack. Some miscommunication that leads to a good chance for the Outlaws. Steelhawks coaching staff wants a holding call. They're not going to get it. You should keep in mind that every Steelhawks game is brought to you by and in partnership with Holland Homes, CRCS, and Gus Brown Pontiac Buick GMC. Steelhawks get a shot off, but a scramble in front. to get a stoppage play because in all of that chaos, Comer lost his glove. McMahon. Shot off in a rebound, but that won't go. And a heavy attack. Open chance for the Whitby Steelhawks scores. Mike Byrne, Byron, Iron Man Byron, as we can call him from now on, after taking on four defenders for his first goal, gets an open shot for his second one, makes it 12 8. The lead might be still large, but it just seems a tiny bit smaller now. My mistake, 12 9. McMahon looking for some help. He finds it. Down low. Good shot. Good score. And just like that, it's a two-goal game. Luke Pilcher waited down low, and the wait was worth it.
Oh, and just like that, McMahon, who has been not exactly the nicest guy on the field today. You're not going to see him baking a cake with any Outlaws players anytime soon. Goes to the sin bin. So just when the Steelhawks are catching momentum, the Outlaws go on the power play. But it's an open chance for the Steelhawks. Great save, Calmer, on the breakaway. Hutchinson had no one to beat but the keeper. But that's usually the hardest guy to beat. And it looks like we're going to get some four-on-four -four action. As the penalty's been given to the Outlaws. Four-on-four -four for a 12-10 score with 11 minutes left to play in the game. We already have a lost helmet. And Coach MacArthur was hoping to pull Coot out for a brief minute. We're gonna get actually a four on three now. Just like that. The Outlaws' treasure turns into trash very quick. Steelhawks looking for an opening. Pilcher and Hutchinson on the floor. And now Hutchinson getting a little bit jawish. Hutchinson and Toggery probably not making plans for a picnic. Joshua looking to convert early. Gets the wrap around, but oh, collision prevents an accurate shot from St. John's. Steelhawks on the attack. Hutchinson found Eddie, back to Eddie. Back to Hutchinson who gets a screen, gets a pass. Oh, couldn't get a shot off though. And it now turns into a five on three for the Steelhawks for 15 seconds, but they cannot seem to get the ball out of what looks to be Walker's hands. Oh, sorry, it's Lions' hands, actually. And there's gonna be a pushing penalty now given to the Steelhawks. 7 seconds left in this power play. Now 15 seconds for the final power play. It has been nothing but man advantages throughout this fourth quarter, at least for the first half of the quarter. Oshawa sends it down deep. They got a chance at a shot. Scores! Oh, never mind. They're taking the goal away from Mancini. And it's the Steelhawks ball. Pilcher got it through everybody but couldn't get it through Calmer. Pilcher regains the possession at the top. Finds a man on the inside. Gets the shot off but instead a whistle is blown.
Gilray with the ball. Looking for some help. Gets stapled along before along the boards, but Naughty gets over to McWaters, who loses possession. No team can find control here in the second half of the fourth quarter. 8-13 left to go. Outlaws lead the Steelhawks 12-10. Who's going to send that ball deep? And a solid slash there from DeBron makes it an advantage for the Outlaws. And you got to watch out if you're going to start a fight with Mark DeBron. He's not afraid to fight right back. McMahon. Back and forth we go in the second half of the fourth quarter. Seven minutes left. And they're saying it's clean. It's a clean break for McCrory. Great save, Coop. Bernani. Gonna give it to Pilcher before he goes off to the bench. They find the inside, but can't get a good shot off. Steelhawks trying to do everything they can to tie it up. Still down two goals though, with 6.23 left to go in the game. McCrory wants to redeem himself for that breakaway he couldn't make. Mancini. St. John's been quiet this quarter. That could change at any moment. Outlaws looking for something near the slot. Can't find it. Instead, they're going to shoot it wide. Can't get it on net, but a great one-timer there. But an even better save from Coot. How on earth did he save that? One thirteen left to go on the power play for the Outlaws. St. John looking for some help. Finds it on the side. But on what we thought was a good save by Coot, and it turned out to be, it's no goal. The Outlaws cannot convert on this power play to save their own lives. Blakely looking to do everything on his own. Good save, Calmer. Back the other way we go. DeBrone. Lajovic, does he have a fifth goal in him? He already has four. Attempts at it, but Coot is there to shut the door. Pilcher with a great move to the inside. Deeks around, shoots. Can't get it by Calmer. 
347 left to go in this game. It's a two score def it's a two score contest. Heavy rush here from the Steel Hawks. The ball couldn't get the shot off. Three minutes left to go in this game. Oshawa on the attack. Looking to get Luke Lajovic his fifth goal of the night, possibly. Brennan said it's going to be a clean break for the Steel Hawks. Great save, Calmer. McCrory gets taken away. This is Conley. Another save from Calmer, but the rebound can't get it on net. Selena coming back, trying to get his physical, but rips the stick out of another opponent's hands, and this could get ugly. Little over two minutes to go. Shots blocked by Salinas by accident. Bergsma. Tempo slowed down for the time being. Gets the shot off, but Coots is there to make the easy save. But it's a wild ball. Chance at a wraparound. Another great save by Coots. Somehow at the last second, shades of any elite NHL goaltender you'll ever see, gets the stick out to somehow block the shot and keep this a two-goal game. That could have been it. Luke Coot, remember the name. This league's an affiliate now with the National Lacrosse League. They're definitely going to be looking at future prospects, and Coot might have just upped his stock with that very play. But another chance at a wraparound. This one not as flashy, but still as effective for Coot. And we're going to get a penalty to end this game. As the Steelhawks catch a break and go on the power play. Steelhawks are going to need to convert now if they want to stay in this game. Cycling the ball, get the shot off, can't get it by Calmer. But another chance, not so lucky. We're now less than a minute away from the Outlaws taking this one. It's 12-10. McMahon can't beat Comer. <clears throat> a wild check sends a... Outlaw down and slow to get up. Hutchinson gets the shot off. Calmer again with the save. Still has to get the ball back. Another chance for Hutchinson. That one seems to contact the body before it can get to the keeper. And that will most likely do it as the Outlaws get a clean break. Going to get one more shot off board. He's going to keep it instead. 
And the Oshawa Outlaws take this one 12 to 10 over the defending champion, Whitby Steelhawks. Great back and forth game. And a message sent to the rest of the Arena Lacrosse League here at the Children's Arena in Oshawa. Thanks so much for joining us, folks. We'll see you next week. With JVI Productions, I'm Blake Rubin. Have a good night, and stay tuned next week for more Arena Lacrosse League action. 2019 season just getting underway.